To assess the adductor region on ultrasound, first of all we get the patient to go into a Faber's position. We then orientate ourselves on the anatomy by finding gracilis, which is at the most superficial aspect there of the screen. As we go towards the pubis, we can see the three columns of the adductors. Starting on the left-hand side, we've got the adductor longus, which has the adductor longus intramuscular tendon. Past the fascial plane, we then see the short brevis muscle. And then to the right of that, we see the adductor magnus, which is obviously a very large muscle. If we go up to the adductor longus, we can follow that intramuscular tendon and the musculotendinous junction up towards the pubic bone where it attaches on. Looking for any hypoechoic regions, any tears. If we come a little bit more distal, again, we can see the three compartments of adductor longus, adductor brevis and adductor magnus. If we then look at adductor longus in long section, I would advise that you find the intramuscular tendon. We can then spin on the intramuscular tendon, keeping it in longitudinal section, and then follow it down to the pubic region. Now it is important to have lots of gel in this area. So again, if we find that intramuscular region and we can follow that all the way up onto the pubic bone and there's the attachment onto the pubis. Just slightly more distally, just to orientate yourself, you can see the three layers of adductor longus at the top, brevis in the middle and magnus at the inferior aspect of the picture. So it's very important to look carefully for any cortical regularity of the pubic bone and for any tears or hypoechoic regions in the common adductor tendon.